Hi, this is just a short video to demonstrate the Wire It Tools plugin for the PCB New uh, uh, layout editor for KiCad. Let me pull up a PCB New window. Get that size for the screen here. Okay, I will pull an example file and turn on the rat's nesting and go up here. Here's some components. I'm going to pull up the Wire It PCB New plugin. Click that. You can see that it's added four new buttons up here for Wire It for connecting pads together cut it for disconnecting them, swap it for swapping the, the uh, wires that attach to each pair of pads, and dump it for storing the changes to the netlist in a file. And so I'll demonstrate wire at first. Here's, I can click on a pad and select it, and then shift click on another pad and select that, and then shift click on that pad, select that, and then I click on the wire it button like that and you can see that now there is a more air wires here that are connecting these pads together and if you zoom in a little bit you'll see that they all have now the same all the pads have been the same to the have been assigned to the same net config flash SO uh, now I will demonstrate just connecting two unconnected pads together. Click on that and then shift click on that and then say wire it. In this case it asked me to type in a net name so I'll say my new net and then say OK. And now both of those pads are connected to a new net called my new net. Now I'll demonstrate cut it. I'll go ahead and click on those two pads that I just connected together and I'll hit the cut it button and that's going to disconnect them from all the nets that those pads are on so now they're disconnected again and now I'll demonstrate swap it I'll select this pin this pad and shift click to select that pad and when I click the swap it button you can see that the two nets have flopped from flopped from one pad to the other. Finally, I will demonstrate dump it, which dumps all the wiring changes that have been made since I first started the wire it tools. So I just click on dump it, and I'm going to go and find a file to dump it in. Dump the changes. Go to recent places. PCB dump test and then dump it. Now I can open up that file, take a look inside of it, size that up a little bit. And go there. And there's dump test. And you can see it's got the part, the pad, and where it's been moved from and to for all the different changes that I've made. And all these occurred on part RN3. And you can see that, let's see, RN3, that's the part we were working with down here. So it just lists the part and the pads and what happened to each one of them. It just does that by comparing it to the, the original netlist that was loaded into the PCB file. And that's really all there is to wire it. Just four simple tools that are good for connecting pads together when you're doing a physical layout. For instance, we have a high pin count FPGA and you might want to, you might want to assign certain pins to certain uh, certain nets to s between certain sets of pins in order to physically uh, keep the wiring simple.
and then you can dump the net list out from that and, and go ahead and create your schematic that from from that net list versus building the, the uh, schematic first and then seeing that all the wires are messed up and then having to go through and straighten them all out after that so uh, it's, it's just kind of a reorienting the design flow a little bit when you have things like FPGAs where you can pretty much have any IO signal you want on any pin. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.